Hello guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. So today I come up with another uh, company ETL testing interview questions. So specifically, these are the questions which is asked recently. Yesterday, one of my student attended the interview and a couple of questions which they have asked. Okay, let me share those with you. So before getting into that, okay, before getting into that particular topic, let's discuss one important thing, one announcement from my end. So we are going to start new batch on ETL testing on November 25th. Okay, whoever interested, they can contact me or they can WhatsApp me in the number which I have provided in the other videos. Just they can go ahead and they can WhatsApp me. I'll go ahead and I'll discuss with them and then I'll add to the WhatsApp group. And let's get into the topic today. So today's topic is emphasis interview questions. So the first question, anyway, the first question which always goes with the tell me about yourself, what are your roles and responsibilities and what is your project experience? What is your how many projects you have worked on? Can you please explain me the project architecture as well as what are the validations you have performed? These are the things which is going to be always first three questions. First is tell me about yourself. And then next next thing is what is your project? What is the your project architecture? And then what is what are the validations which you have performed in that particular project? These three questions which is going to come every time. Okay. So whenever you wanted to attend your interview, you have to be make sure these three questions should be answered perfectly. If you answer, then they will get into technical. First question, how is a union clause? See, uh, the question which they are provided by my student, let me make it very clear. Okay, what is the difference between union clause and join clause? So let me answer you high level. So union is the set operator. Whenever you wanted to perform union, right? There are a couple of rules. One is very, very important thing is number of columns should be same and the data type should be same. And then you have to column position also should be same in union. But when it comes to join, right? Join is always works with the, if you wanted to join, there is a primary key foreign key relationship or common key, which is present between the two tables using join class, you can jo join it. But there are no constraints, which like, you know, how you have to perform, like, you know, how many columns should be there under same column, same number of columns on data types. These are the not, not is the, the same data type should be present. And even if it is not present, you can convert it. So this is the major important thing between the joining class and union class. I'm going to make a video on this. Okay. Next, th next thing is, what is a session in Informatica? What is a session in Informatica? If you wanted to perform task, if you wanted to perform task, you have to go ahead and you have to create a session in Informatica. This also I'm going to come up with the detailed, detailed question, detailed question on this. Next thing is, what are the validations which you have performed in ETL testing? So this is where all the validations, okay, while you are explaining from extraction to until until load, what are the validations which you have performed? You have to tell in detail. You have to tell in detail. This particular thing, I'm going to come up with the another video that I'm going to explain you from starting to until end, until end. And what kind of defects you have raised? What kind of defects you have raised? What is the most difficult defect which you have raised? And how did you validate it after fixing after fixing this is the very very tricky thing which they are going to check with you whether you have worked real time or just by dummily you are just like you have got the trained just now and then immediately you are attending the interview being an experienced person you have to come up with this particular answer okay the project level and as well as business level and then you have to come up with the answer so you have to make sure you have to answer in a right way so I'm going to explain this also in one of the video. And next, what is SCD types of SCDs? So to answer this, right? To answer this, okay, if you can go to my channel, okay, if you can go to my channel, see here, the channel is available. And here you can see, okay, and uh, here you can see playlist, okay? In the playlist, you can check it out. Okay, Informatica classes. The, where is that? Informatica playlist. Just see here you have informatica playlist in this particular thing okay you can see yesterday also one of the one of the question which i which i have mentioned 
okay star schema versus snowflake schema this is also answered here and as well as okay and one more thing very very important thing just now we have discussed right that particular thing so let's understand here you can see okay where is this just give me one sec guys where is this yeah here you can see okay uh, in scd types scd types here you can see this video in this video mastering slowly changing dimension all the scd types scd type 1 type 2 type 3 i have explained in detail i have explained in detail here you can go through this then you you will get the answer for this particular this particular question next thing is write a, write an sql query to fetch the domain name from email id from email id let's go to here let's go to here i need not to prepare again just you can go here ET, sql interview questions so here you can see there is a one of the interview questions which i mentioned okay just let me do that which the greatest tales and then just give me one sec guys where is this so here i have answered just you can you can go to this playlist then you will answer here this is the here you can see this is the thing okay write the write the see in the playlist third one write the write down the sql query to fetch the domain name and name from email id here i have explained in detail about it in detail about this particular question you can get answer from for this question like here you can see right after scd types you can see here one more question also which i have explained next thing is what is rank dense rank and ronum in sql so this question also i have already explained in the here okay see here let me show you okay foreign key just one sec where is this see it's very hard to do hard to see here it's a smaller screen primary key foreign key delete drop truncate just give me one sec guys rank and dense rank somewhere i have explained this okay i have explained i'm aware of it okay and some of the things, okay, some of the things you guys asked, right? What are the uh, ETA validations which you are going to perform? Here, you can see this. This is the video which is going to give you sample, okay? Not a in-depth, okay? It's a giving you in-depth, but uh, uh, whatever the sample project, sample mapping document I have taken and I have shown you here what are the validations which you have performed so you can go through this particular etl testing real real time scenario one here you can see how many members have watched this particular video you can see around more than 5000 members are watched you can go through this particular validations okay validations and one more question rank and dense rank right this is the thing which we are discussing see just give me one second just to let me list this playlist okay instead of that way okay so go here see here okay uh, first question is see first thing is second thing is duplicate record okay first one is joins okay Which yesterday i have asked right yesterday i have shown you in the interview questions give me the uh, sample data and then on top of it here you can see next thing is you can see difference between union, union all. And here you can see, this is the question which I'm talking about it. Okay. Here you can see here, what is rank and what is dense rank? What is the row number, how it works? And with the examples of example also, I have explained. Just go through this particular question. So I would say out of it, right? Out of it, this particular questions, most of the things which i have covered and what is the cta cts means common table expression which we are going to use it instead of subqueries we are it, we are going ahead and we are going to use the 
CTE, common table expression. I'm going to explain you this particular question in the coming videos. Next thing is write an SQL query to identify the duplicate records. Okay. So in the here, right? Okay. This is the second question. In second question itself, I have used the how to identify the duplicates records from table. Write down the SQL query for the same. Okay. So consider it. How many questions? This is also covered. And this is also covered. And this is also covered. And uh, this is also covered. So one, two, three, four. Okay. And then five. Okay. And then this is also covered as part of SEDs. Okay. As part of Informatica. And this is also covered. So only one thing which I haven't covered is what is CTE and how it is a how union clause is different from join clause. These two questions I have not covered. Remaining thing, all the things are available in the SQL interview question playlist. You can see here, go to navigate to my channel and go here, go to playlist. In the playlist, you can see SQL interview questions. SQL interview questions. SQL interview questions. 37 videos which is present here. If you can go through 60% of your interview going to be, your interview going to be clear. Your interview going to be 60 to 7 plus 60 to 7% you are going to be selected you are going to be selected and second thing some of the some of the folks ask me okay sir how can i tell very short and brief manner tell me about yourself okay that is also covered that is also covered let me let me go to here in the here let me go here then you will understand here you can see somewhere i have explained that also you here you can see question number 22 you can see here Tell me about yourself. Okay. Even this is also explained. This is also explained. You have to go ahead and you have to learn from it. If you learn it, this interview questions perfectly. Okay. Most of the questions which you will be able to answer from interview, ETL testing interview, three to four years, three to four years. Thank you guys. And moreover, one more, one thing which I wanted to again reiterate, November 25th, we are going to start new batch. Whoever interested, just go ahead and WhatsApp me in this number. You can see right in the bottom of the screen, 9886-827-826. You can WhatsApp me this number. I'll add it to the group according to the whether you are eligible for this particular training or not. I will analyze it. Then on top of it, I'll go ahead and I'll add you to the group. Thank you, guys. Thanks for your support and have a great day, great night ahead. Thank you.